In this video, we will go about creating the passenger base for the Automoblox car from an existing passenger section's geometry. So um, you'll note in our browser bar, we have something known as a passenger section, and the passenger section is this middle piece. If you've watched all of our videos, you'll note that this is the piece we started out with. This is a given piece from the downloads for the Automoblox car out of the curriculum. So really, this piece and our wheel axle are the only ones we've ever you know, actually used real geometry for. Everything else, we've kind of gone in and done some original design. Uh, but we're going to create for ourselves our passenger base within this object. If you go to the original curriculum, you'll notice that they kind of give you what the passenger base might look like. Um, this looks a lot of like a letter A shapes, and there's four of them here. There's like four people you would create. With what we're going to do is we're only going to make a spot for two people, but we're going to do some parametric modeling with this as well today. So we're going to go up to create, and I want to call this new passenger base. And you're going to notice that here is my um, project location file right here. And we're going to see where it says new car. And I'm going to say OK. And it's going to tell me that I already have maybe one already called this. I'm going to new passenger base 2 and say OK. And I'm going to click on the bottom part of this object right here. And we're going to click on the very bottom. And I'm going to go to my pencil and it's going to flip around on me a little bit. And I always like to make sure I'm in the exact same view when I click each time. So I'm going to come around and I'm going to go down to the bottom of the object just like that and we're going to click on project geometry and we're going to get the exact same surface. You're going to notice now that we have those yellow lines that means existing geometry. So what we'll do is we'll flip around and we'll come back down here. We're going to go to finish sketch and I'm going to go to extrude and automatically it recognizes that enclosed profile in order to extrude. Now in a side view we can come over here and see exactly how far up and down we want this to be like. What's going to be our height? So we're going to do our own original design. If you have the object, um, you have the actual Automoblox car and you want to do some more um, exact reverse engineering, that's fine. You can go in with the dial caliper and do some measurements. But we're going to do some original design today. So I'm going to go ahead and say that that's going to be 0.35 tall and I'm going to hit my check mark. We're going to go ahead and come around and take a look right down on the top of the object. So we're going to go to our pencil and we're going to click right down on the top. And you're going to know we get for ourselves a center point. One thing we'd like to do is give ourselves a line that just goes up and just gives us a little bit of a dividing line here if we were to ever mirror anything. So I want to create for myself a, um, a pentagon in here. So we're going to create this little kind of star shape over here. So I want to click on circle. And one thing we want to do is I'd like to come over from the left um, about the distance from here to here. So one thing we can do is we can click on the line command and drag ourselves a line over until we hit the side and I can find the center point right here in the middle. So I'm going to click on circle and I want to come right here in the middle and we're going to drag out until we decide on what the, you know, let's say what the uh, you know, diameter is that we're going to want, what's going to be too big of a shape, too small of a shape. Now we want the base of these um, the base of the people will eventually make to be reasonably small, not too big. So I'm going to put in 0.4 for the diameter for this. And I'm going to say 0.4. And one thing we'll do from here is we're going to right click and say OK. And we're going to go up and to the rectangle command and we're going to add a polygon. And I want to change my 6 to a 5 because we're on a 5 sided object. And right here in the center of the object I'm going to click and I'm going to drag straight up until it snaps to the top completely vertical. I should be able to see those black dotted lines. If I zoom in I can see better. And now I can see that black dotted line. We're going to right click and say OK. We now have for ourselves a um, you know, a pentagon inside the object, but I said we're going to make ourselves a little bit of a star shape. So one of the things that we can do is click on the line command, and I want to draw straight up until I reach about the halfway point along here. So I can come along here until I see that halfway point come out. And I want to go straight up if I can. And when I see that diagonal line from the side start to line up, I don't know if you can see this, this black dotted line comes off of here, then when I'm straight up from there, I can click. Now I can come over and click over here. What we have now is we have a line that would line up from here to here to be a perpendicular line. A perpendicular line would come out and meet this right where it went up. So we saw a black dotted line that would be right here. Good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the circular pattern function. And we're going to say the geometry that we want to pattern are these two lines right here. Now this is geometric construction that we're doing. Our axis will be the center of the object. We have six. I want to go down to 5. I'm going to go down to 5 here. So I'm going to go 5 over here. And notice we have ourselves a perfect star now. We're going to say OK. I want to right click and get rid of each one of these diagonal lines that we have. We can right click and go to delete for each one of the lines. You could be holding down the control key right now and uh, choosing several different lines. I'm going to come up and say delete. So now we have 
ourselves a star right here, and these points meet. Let's go to Finish Sketch. Let's go to Extrude. Let's zoom in and see if we can see that star or not. Sometimes um, what will happen is they'll say that these points aren't meeting. So even though if we zoom in, it's like, man, they really look like they're meeting right there. I mean, we could keep zooming in. We can go in and make those points coincident. So I'm kind of glad that that happened. We're going to come over here to our sketch, right click, and we're going to go to edit sketch. And one of the things we can do is we can right click on sketch two and go to something called sketch doctor. And when this comes up, we can say we want to diagnose this sketch and say, okay, and it's going to say, man, you've got an open loop at every one of these red dots. If we poured water inside of this star, water would leak out at every one of these red points. And I'm going to say next. And I'm just going to keep saying next and saying, do you want to combine the sketch points? And I'm going to say finish. And it's going to ask me, do you want to, do you want to um, combine the highlighted sketch points you see? And I'm going to keep saying yes. Keep saying yes as it goes around. If you keep saying yes, you're going to see down here at the bottom, it went from green to gold. And now I have a gold point at every one of these. This right here should completely allow me to extrude through. So let's go to finish sketch. And let's go to extrude. And we can now click inside that star. Let's do this. I can flip around this way, and what I want to do is I want to cut, but I want to go down to something. So one thing I can do is kind of flip around here, and I'm going to go from distance to the word to, and I'm going to click underneath the object. I want it to go down, but only to the very bottom of the object, and we don't have to put in a distance, and I'm going to say OK. And we now have ourselves a star in here. Now, I still want that center line down through the center to help me out, to help me with the other side of the object. So I'm going to right click on Sketch 2, and I want to go up to something called Share Sketch. And I still want this to be here when I'm sketching on the other side. So let's grab a hold of our pencil, click on our surface, and I still want to be able to come over like from a halfway point to the other side. So let's go to Line, and I want to click here, and let's come all the way over here until we hit this spot. I should be able to right click and say OK. Let's see, I'm pretty sure that I'm on top of the object here. It looks like maybe I'm underneath. You know what? I made a mistake. I'm underneath. So I'm going to click undo real quick. I still want to keep the share sketch function there. I want to go back there, but I want to go to pencil. And I accidentally clicked underneath. I made a mistake. I, up here on the top was where I wanted to make sure I was. So let's click here. Now I can go to line. That's why that line wasn't showing up. It was on the bottom. So I'm going to click, come over to here, and I'm going to go up to my circle. And I'm going to find my midpoint right here in the middle. And I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag out. But I want to reference this other side. It looks to me like it's not letting me line this up with our side. Now I can see that that's 0.4. So one thing I can do is I can click here and go up to dimension and click. And when I drag out and place it, I want to come over here and use this the exact same number over here. So I'm just going to come over here and click on that. That's our second dimension we've done on this object. And I'm hit my check mark. And automatically, this is going to be the same as what I see over here. Should I change this, it's going to change along with it. So one thing we'll do, instead of doing a star over here, let's go ahead and just do a, we're going to do a triangle. But with the cool thing about triangles, I'm still going to use polygon. A triangle is technically a polygon. Let's zoom in, and I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag straight up until it snaps to the outside edge here. I'm just going to drag straight up and click. Right click and say OK. Let's go to Finish Sketch, and let's go to Extrude, and I want to be inside my triangle, and I'm going to cut and say my distance is 2, and I'm going to come down here and click on the very, very bottom of the object. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom of the object and click, and it's cut through the object, and I'm going to say OK. So now we have for ourselves a triangle cut through. Let's go over to our browser bar, right click, and take away the visibility of this object right here. Now one thing of note is we want this object to be shelled on the bottom. So if I go up to the shell command right here, and it's automatically going to select the object, and I'm going to say I want to remove the bottom face of this and say OK. What happens is, is it kept that thickness in there around those, those objects. Now I can go back over here and right click on shell and go to edit feature and we say we might say you know what that's too thick. We have 0.1. Give me a way smaller thickness of 0.01 and I say okay. And We've taken away a lot of mass. Now these are going to be really thin now. But what we've been able to do is actually shell out the middle of that object. So let's right click on our work plane that it gives us every time we start a new part and we're going to go to visibility and we're also going to go up to default Let's go up to dark green to make it look more like our actual automobile box car. And let's go to return. I'm going to click on the house button. And you notice right, right here we have our object and we have the spaces filled in here. But you might be saying, you know what, those look really small. That's fine. We can go back and we can edit. The point of making these parts is that students have the opportunity to go back. Once we start doing more uh, modification of the automobile box car, they can go back and edit. 
the shapes if they want to. They can make them larger or smaller. When they go back into each piece, they can go back and change things, and things are going to automatically adapt. You know, so if I go to save here and say, yeah, I want to go ahead and save everything, you know, and if I get out of my part here, I can even get out of my assembly. Now I can go to open, new passenger base 2, and just go to open here. And we're going to be able to see the actual part. You know, there's the part. It looks like I still left that sketch on here. So let's right click and take away the visibility and take away the work plane visibility here too. And they can go, the student now can go around and change whatever it is that they want. So if the student says, you know, I don't want this shape right here, I want to make it a different size, they can right click and go to edit sketch and they can come in here and edit this. Then go through and edit everything. So if they want to change the diameter to something larger, they can, and it's automatically going to go back and update within the actual assembly. So this has been a video on how to create the passenger base for the Automoblox car from the geometry given within the passenger section while doing some original design.